Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any HAL product, that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru at Highland Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to talk to you about the recent updates to the Howl selection of rear loader refuse collection vehicles. Howl's line of rear loaders are known as the true workhorses for commercial and residential collection thanks to their legendary durability and reliability. That's why we're excited to announce a refresh for the Durapack 5000, Powertrack Commercial, and Powertrack Commercial Plus rear loaders. Using proven technology found in front loaders and automated side loaders, you can now find all of the end cab switches conveniently located in one place, the Heil Insight Display. This new design allows for constant modification that in the past would require adding another switch that you would have to try to reach on your crowded dash. Now this can all be done in the easy to access end cab display. And that's not even the best part. Remember having to get out of the cab and trying to troubleshoot any issues with that old PDC box? Well those days are gone because now you have the enhanced troubleshooting capabilities that you can perform from the safety of the cab. This is all thanks to the upgrade to the new Cortex controllers that eliminates the need for a PDC box. Instead of cumbersome troubleshooting, now the controllers found in the tailgate, body, and end cab provide critical information straight to the display. These controllers allow for two-way communication as well as eliminates relays and associated failures. So let's jump into what all you can expect with this new product refresh. First, let's go over what all you can find in your Heil Insight display. Your four buttons on the home screen house multiple functions that can be enabled with the push of the button. When any of these functions are enabled, they will eliminate in a green color. Using the down directional arrow will allow you to scroll through additional functions for the second and third buttons that also can be enabled. If you see a green line above a function, this means that there is an additional function associated with the button that is enabled. Simply scroll down through the functions to quickly identify which function it is. Here are the functions that are located on each button. Functions button number one. This button only houses the system enable function, which enables the hydraulic system. Functions button number two. Strobe lights. When enabled, this turns on all strobe lights. Auto strobe. When enabled, this will turn on all of the strobe lights when the system enable function is turned on and the vehicle speed is below 20 miles per hour. Rear strobe. When enabled, this turns on all of the strobe lights that are located on the rear of the unit. And front strobe. When enabled, this turns on all of the strobe lights that are located on the front of the unit. Functions button number three. Work lights. When enabled, this turns on the body work light and all the tailgate work lights. Auto work light. When enabled, this turns on the body work light plus the tailgate hopper and tailgate side lights when the system enable function is turned on and the vehicle's speed is below 20 miles per hour. Inside hopper. When enabled, this turns on the tailgate hopper light. Outside hopper. When enabled, this turns on the tailgate side light. Backup assist. When enabled, this turns on the side body backup assist lights. And camera floods. When enabled, this turns on the tailgate camera lights. Functions button number four, throttle advance. This enables the engine throttle advance function. Other than system enable, all other functions that you enable will be saved as a custom setup that will reload even after you cycle the power of the unit. The in-cab display also allows you to see different indicators on the bright, easy to read display. By default, 
you will see four display indicators, system PTO, filter bypass, tailgate open, and fault indicator. According to your option configuration, you may have other display indicators on your default screen, such as trans temp, low oil, tailgate lock, pump one, side door, or pump two. These indicators will change colors and messages to let you instantly know everything is running correctly and to also alert you if there are any fault codes. The following are the messages that each indicator can display. System PTO. For units with a clutch engaged PTO, you'll see one of the following messages. A red error message indicates that there is a PTO output error. A green PTO ON message indicates that the PTO output is ON and the PTO pressure switch is activated. A yellow PTO ON message indicates that the PTO output is ON, but the PTO pressure switch is not activated. Or a gray PTO OFF message indicates the PTO output is OFF. For units without a clutch engaged PTO or constant duty PTO, you'll see one of the following messages. A green system on message indicates that the hydraulic system is enabled. Or a gray system off message indicates that the hydraulic system is disabled. Trans temp. This optional indicator only applies to a clutch shift PTO and alerts you when there is a high temp warning active. Filter bypass. A green filter OK message indicates that the return filter is not in bypass. Also, a red filter bypass message indicates that the return filter is in bypass. Low oil. This optional indicator is included with hydraulic tank monitoring. A green oil OK message indicates that the oil level is good. And a red low oil message indicates that the hydraulic oil level is low. Tailgate lock. A green tailgate locked message indicates that the tailgate is locked and a red tailgate unlocked message indicates that the tailgate is unlocked. Tailgate open. A green tailgate closed message indicates the tailgate is closed, and a red tailgate open message indicates that the tailgate is open. Pump one. This optional indicator is included with a manifold controlled hydraulic pump. A green pump on message indicates that the pump output is on. A gray pump off message indicates that the pump output is off. And a yellow error message indicates that the pump output has an error, short, or open circuit. Side door. This optional indicator is included with the side door pump shutdown interlock. A green side door closed message indicates that the side door is closed. And a red side door open message indicates that the side door is open. Pump two. This optional indicator is included with an operate at idle hydraulic pump. A green pump on message indicates that the pump output is on. A gray pump off message indicates that the pump output is off. And a yellow error message indicates that the pump output has an error, short, or open circuit. Fault indicator. A red critical fault message indicates that there is a critical fault. A red control fault message indicates that there is a controller fault. And a red system fault message indicates that there is a system fault. Your Heil Insight display also features a message banner that will illuminate to alert you of faults, failures, and other series of important messages. When the fault indicator is illuminated, a series of potential messages can occur. For critical faults, all functions will be disabled and limited to no operation will be allowed. Here are the potential critical fault messages that you can receive in a red banner. Engine speed undetectable, enable service mode and reset system enable. Side door interlock, close side door, reset system enable. Hydraulic temperature shutdown, oil temp exceeds 200 degrees Fahrenheit, reset system enable. Transmission temp high, with clutch shift PTO engaged, reset system enable. Pump shutdown pressed, reset street side switch, restart system enable. Pump shutdown pressed, 
Reset curbside switch, restart system enable. Low hydraulic oil, fill hydraulic tank to proper level, reset system enable. Operator warnings. These messages will illuminate in a red banner and indicate that you are operating in a hazardous condition. Potential operator warnings are vehicle in motion with tailgate open, close and secure tailgate. Hydraulic temp warning, oil temperature exceeds 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Vehicle in motion with throttle advance, verify transmission neutral. Communications failure. These messages will illuminate in a red banner and indicate that there is another intermediate or ongoing failure between one or more controllers. Potential communication failures are comms lost, multiple controllers, restore comms and press escape to clear. Cab controller communications lost, restore comms and press escape to clear. Body controller communications lost, restore comms and press escape to clear and tailgate controller communications lost. Restore comms and press escape to clear. Service mode. This message will illuminate in a red banner and indicate that the system has been placed into service mode. Tailgate buzzer. This message will illuminate in a blue banner and is a visual indication that the tailgate buzzer switch is pressed. Hydraulic filter life. This message will eliminate in a black banner to indicate that the remaining filter life is below 5%. Hydraulic oil life. This message will eliminate in a black banner to indicate that the remaining oil life is below 5%. Hydraulic oil ambient temperature. This optional message is displayed in a black banner as a default message on your home screen. System off. This message will illuminate in a gray banner to indicate that the hydraulic system is turned off. Your Heil Insight display also has some additional screens that will allow you to check the current status of inputs, outputs, variables, faults, and a counter screen. From the home screen, pressing up on the arrow pad allows you to access the critical faults screen. This screen can be used to view the status of all critical faults. To reset a critical fault, you'll need to cycle the system enable on your home screen. From the critical fault screen, you can access the controller fault screen by pressing right on the arrow pad. This screen can be used to view the status of all controller faults. To reset faults, you can either push the reset all button or the reset selected button. From the critical fault screen, you can also access the system fault screen by pressing left on the arrow pad. This screen can be used to view the status of all system faults. To reset faults, you can either push the Reset All button or Reset Selected button. To return to the home screen, you can simply press Escape. From the home screen, push right on the arrow keypad to navigate through these following screens. Display. This screen shows different details about the display. Cab Controller Inputs. This screen shows the different inputs that the cab controller is receiving. Body controller inputs. This screen shows the different inputs that the body controller is receiving. Tailgate controller inputs. This screen shows the different inputs that the tailgate controller is receiving. Chassis variables J1939. This screen shows the different chassis variables that are received from the J1939. Some variables are not available on all chassis, in which case the variable status will not update. Cab controller outputs. This screen shows the different outputs that the cab controller is sending. Body controller outputs. This screen shows the different outputs the body controller is sending. Tailgate controller outputs. This screen shows the different outputs that the tailgate controller is sending. Counter screen. This screen shows the different cycle counters that are available. Daily cycle counters can be reset. Simply toggle through the list with the up and down arrow keys, and when the correct one is selected, press the button below. Note, when in the counter screen, to toggle back to the main screen, simply press the right arrow key. If you need any help troubleshooting, we have some great guides conveniently located in your service manual that will provide you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. That does it.
Now you know the ins and outs of the improvements on the Powertrack Commercial, Powertrack Commercial Plus, and the Durapack 5000 rear loaders. If you have any questions, or you just need a service manual, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time, here at the Service Shack.